Hey Vibe Nation, welcome to Entertainment Vibe. Today I have a beautiful lady sitting next to me who goes by the name of Lady Virtue and she's a Barbadian artist. But let me tell you, she has a lot of links when it comes to Saint Lucia. But I'll have her tell you a little more about that. Lady Virtue, let me just tell you, welcome to the Vibe. Thank you so much for having me. It is a pleasure to have you. You're sitting here in your green. You look lovely. And it is so calming and relaxing to just chill out here with you. But of course, I was coming <laughs> to the vibe. What else would I Of course. Do? <laughs> I, love, I like her already. I like her already. Now, Lady Wish, you tell me about your links here in St. Lucia. Well, obviously, um, for, for those who don't know, mm -hmm. I have St. Lucian parents. And I mean mother, father, uncle, cousins, you name it, sisters. Serious? All over St. Lucia, yes. So this is my second home. I mean, I wish it was my first, but it's my oh, second home. Oh, <laughs> I like that. So tell me about yourself. I mean, growing up and getting involved in the music industry when you realized you could sing, where did you really start out? Well, I, I think people, people normally say that they start music, but I think music started me, and then I followed on. But I came up in a household that was decorated with music. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when I say music, I mean oldies. And you know, I had a stepfather who would play the music, blast the music. It's like you so wake up Sunday morning. Correct. And you wake up to that. Yes. So. <laughs> and, and play the same song over and over and over oh, and over. I again. do that in my household too. <laughs> right. you know? So, I mean, so I didn't have any choice. I, I was like a sponge. I soaked up everything. And, you know, as time went on, I found it was a part of me, mm -hmm. you know. So at the tender age of 16, I went into doing some DJing and stuff like that. You know, that, that went for a while. So you enjoyed doing that. How did that of go course. for you, the DJing? That was great. I, I loved it. I enjoyed it, you know. But, you know, life is a, is a learning process. So you move from one stage to the, yep. to the next. So then, you know, as in all performers, I went to the church, I sang in the church choir and that thing. Oh, I you know. All great performers really start out in That's the church, eh? Exactly. That's you know. Beautiful. Then you move you move on again and then I started to sing Calypso back in 2001, because at that time, that's what was happening in Barbados wow. in terms of Calypso, and the arena was there, so the opportunity was there, mm -hmm. so I took it. But I had always had the love for reggae, especially back in those years with Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. and that was my, my, my motivation that's right, really right, that you right there. Coming up, you exactly. Grew up with, huh? I had people like Tiger and Loving Deer, you know, back in those times when it was called Dub. Now, that's in Barbados. You said Tiger. <laughs> I, I, how... How old was I? I don't think I know. <laughs> I, I'm too acquainted with that artist, but I'll have to research. I mean, yes. Bob Marley is just timeless for me. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? But I mean, I, I always loved music, and I said I got into Calypso because that's what was happening. At the time. Exactly. But you know what? If you have a love for something, don't care whatever happens, you always go back to that first love. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> so true. That's true. You know, so reggae became the thing for me. And, you know, just recently, I'm launching my reggae career. And I chose to do it here, right here in St. Lucia. Oh, that is beautiful. Yes. I like that. And, of course, on the vibe, where else? On the vibe. <laughs> and you know what? I have a beautiful lady working with me, Jackie O. I oh, mean. Well. You can't go wrong with Jackie. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't go wrong with Jackie. <laughs> wrong with Jackie. I have to say, she has helped me out meeting great people like exactly. you. Friendships, the networks, it is amazing. Because trust, when you come back to St. Lucia, you will come back on the vibe. It is a must. Yes. You know, so, you know, the inspiration is there. I mean, my sole inspiration is God. That, that's first and foremost. Yeah, but God. then you have people that, you know, that, that you go through life with that inspire you, you and motivate them you. And they help you out along the exactly. way. Exactly. So that's, that's how it started for me. It's beautiful. Now yes. I know you have a brand new video. Oh yes. Brand new song. Yes. And what's the title of that? Find a good man. You know, hmm. that, you know that's a hundred hmm. years old. Hmm. Finding a good man. Now you but. have to tell me about that. Find a good man. <laughs> is it that you're giving us the remedy on how to find a good man, or you saying that it's important that you find a good man? I'm saying that ten years ago, when I went into Calypso, mm -hmm. which is this year is ten years, ah. I started out with a song called Lele Man. <laughs> which was a lazy man who didn't like to cook, wash, clean, do anything. And I don't know if it's ironic coincidence or what, but after 10 years, I'm now finding a good, I'm not saying it takes 10 years to find a good man. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> but, you know, I launched the song, Find a Good Man, to, to show people out there that there are good men out there. And person who have watched the video will see they have men who can cook, they can wash, they can clean. I'm not saying that's all you need the man for, <laughs> but I'm saying that it's they good are to have good. Them with those qualities. Exactly, you know. And I mean, if you watch the video, 
you would want to watch it over and over and over. It is really, really, really good. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that because of my video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is the response on the streets. It is really good. And everybody should, you know, find some time to watch it. That's beautiful. And Lady Virtue, I'm glad that you would come out with something like that, find a good man. Because you find now in society, there are a lot of negative towards our men. And yeah. you know, people are saying that we're not getting good men around anymore, which is not true. You just have to take your time and find one. Correct. You know, and as I said, you watch the video, and I mean, there's there's a lot. I mean, the thing, the, the good thing about this video, mm -hmm. it deals with reality, so you can identify with it. Yep. You know, and you have to see it. Beautiful. You have now, to see it. Tell me about your songs, the genre. You're more going into the reggae genre right now. So, mm -hmm. what do you write about? Well, that's well, Lady Virtue mm -hmm. represents positiveness. So find a good man is something positive, mm -hmm. and from there you can only get more positive things because with the name virtue, it has to have something positive, True. right? So the public can expect to see just positive things coming from me, you know, and that's the direction that I intend to take. All right, and tell us about who helped you in the music video, producers, producing the song. Where did you make the video? Well, the, the video was done in Barbados. You know your next video, you make it in St. Lucia, right? But of course. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you to star in it. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> I've been asking for a little cameo role. I told you I like her. I really like her. Yes. <laughs> it was done in Barbados. Um, the song, um, some parts of the song was produced in Jamaica. Uh -huh. Because when I decided that I wanted to get into reggae, I decided to go to the countries of or origins and, you know, just to feel to the, the vibe. Feeling, the vibe. Of course. That, that kind mm -hmm. of thing, you know. And so, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. You have to put, you have to put this t together. So I'm saying to young persons out there who really want to get into music, it's a lot of commitment, it's a lot of dedication. And if you're not serious, then it, it can't be done. But once you want to get into music and you want to be successful, it's a lot of commitment and dedication. Yeah. So I'm not here to deter anyone, but hard work and it does pay off. I mean, look at you. You have so much positivity about you. I love that. <laughs> now, I noticed you brought something. I hope it's for me. Of course. You're a special lady. You, you, you remind me of, of, of Jackie O. Oh, <laughs> yes. that is that cool. I, I, I feel so privileged. The I love is, that. The vibe is special. <laughs> so, because you are so special, I'm here. I'm going to present you my poster. Oh, and it's signed. And Enough it's love signed. and respect. Yes, I love that. The vibe, you know. People out there in TV land, you can see it. <laughs> And here's also a copy of my song, Find a Good Man. Beautiful. So you know I've been listening to that. It's okay for me to put it on my phone, right? So when people, when Jackie called me to tell me she has somebody bringing in the studio, I'll hear that song. I'll of put course. that ring especially for her. Correct. <laughs> and you can also check it out on my website, yeah, www.ladyvirtue.net. Beautiful. Now yes. you know what I want you to do? First time launched right here in St. Lucia on the vibe. Launch that music video for St. Lucia. Do your stuff, Lady Virtue. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> say anything. Say you, talk about the song, express yourself, but it's just your time to just release that video. I have a lover who loves me, and I know that we were meant to be. He cooks my food, he wash my clothes, tells me sweet things nobody knows. This is Lady Virtue on the vibe, right here, launching my music video, my song, Find a Good Man. Ha, ha, ha.